Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we are going to conduct lecture number 31 of our online course microprocessor and assembly language and we will try to explore further control flow instruction and we will be observing a practical example in which we will try to solve certain objective. So let's proceed to our topic. Okay, let's start very first program that we are going to see in this lecture. Uh, so the objective of program is that we have three different numbers and they are stored in AX, BX and CX, three different data registers and we have to check which one of them is larger one and we have to move that number in to uh, the fourth data register which is DX. So uh, what we have to do, we have to check the content of AX, BX, CX and uh, we have to verify which one of them is larger and we have to move that largest number inside dx that is the objective of today's lecture uh, of very first program of today's lecture okay let's move three different random numbers into uh, data register ax bx and cx so let's say move ax comma zero two hex then next number we moved it into uh, bx let's say we are moving zero six hex okay and then move cx is equal to or we are moving uh, 0 9 hacks into CX so these, these are three different numbers so this is the very first part of our program in which we are moving three def different numbers into uh, into the uh, data registers and now we have to develop a logic by which we will be uh, verifying which one of them is larger one so we have number of conditional jumps available that we can use here we can use jump greater if you remember jump above right jump less than we can develop any other logic as well we by subtraction we can use j and z's or we can use jc's depending upon uh, whatever the condition we are going to develop uh, in this i'm going to use ja approach so ja means it will be jumping if the first number is op uh, is greater than compared to the second operand so you know that that comparison is performed with the help of cmp command so we will be using ja and cmp command simultaneously so let's see how we are going to use these commands in our uh, today's program so we will be comparing uh, the three numbers so first we will compare first two numbers and then we choose the larger number of them and we uh, compare that larger number with the third number and then we will choose the larger number and whatever that larger number would be we will be moving it towards tx so let's say we are comparing ax and bx cmp ax comma bx so in this statement we are comparing what ax and bx so we have to go through the complete logic and we have to complete each and every aspect of program uh, if since we are using conditional jumps so we have to look uh, forward to the both of the option if condition is going to be true or if condition is going to be false so first we will be uh, completing our program with the true statements and then we will uh, read on our program and try to check if condition was false what is going to be the flow of program so let's proceed so we are comparing cmp ax comma bx that means we are comparing ax and bx content uh, and we, we will be using we will be using what jump a which is jump above that means uh, jump above uh, jump if the first operand is above or greater compared to the second operand that is the purpose of this command uh, you can use your own logic I'm just trying to uh, show how one can start uh, building up your own logic so let's see jump above and if ax is larger so jump to another location or another label and that is your ABC I'm just using a random uh, label which is ABC so this is our uh, consider that this condition was true so we will be jumping towards ABC so what should be happening here we are jumping here because the condition was true and what was the condition condition was AX is larger than or AX is greater than or AX is above compared to BX so that means AX was larger 
right so now ax is larger and now we have to compare uh, it with the third number which is stored inside cx register cmb uh, ax comma cx and now again uh, we have to use jump uh, we will be supposing this condition is true so we will be using another label let's say abc1 is this time label and now we will be switching towards another label which is abc1 colon and now we know that ax is all uh, this we are here because this condition was also true that means ax is also larger compared to cx that means ax is has been checked or compared with two different numbers vx and cx and it is larger compared to both of those two numbers so what we have to do we have to move that number which is the largest number out of three numbers uh, into the dx register so what i'm gonna write move dx comma ax that will move the value of ax inside the dx register so our program is complete in that aspect so i'm using halt command i hope you have understood this point completely uh, i'm gonna repeat it just let me uh, remove these spaces because we will be trying to okay we need one space here and a one space here okay so i'm starting from this point we are comparing ax and bx and what we are doing we are verifying which one of them is larger using j uh, compare command and we are using conditional statement which is ja and it says if first operand is larger compared to the second operand that means you have to switch to this label which is abc and we are supposing okay that condition was true that means ax is larger than bx and now we are uh, moving towards abc label and abc label what we are testing we are testing whether this ax which is larger compared to b uh, is also larger compared to c or not so we are comparing it with cx so cm p ax comma cx right and now uh, we have to again flow uh, flow this program or we have to perform the flow of program in the true condition so ja uh, if condition is true then jump to abc1 and if that condition is also true that means ax is larger compared to bx and ax is also larger compared to uh, cx right ax was larger in that condition compared to bx and ax is also larger compared to cx in that condition the both of these conditions are true and we are jumping toward abc1 level and since ax is come uh, is uh, larger compared to ax and bx so we will be moving uh, sorry a a ax is larger compared to a bx and cx so we will moving ax into the dx which is move dx comma ax and we will ha halt our program so that is one possible flow of our program and but this program this flow will only run when these two conditions were true so what will be happening if this condition was not true so we will try to complete that pro uh, that aspect of the program as well okay let's do this uh, uh, do this uh, what should i say sorry for this message let me let me put that message over here so that it doesn't disturb our screen so yeah so we will try to complete our logic using the false statement as well or uh, the other possible condition which can appear in this code what's happening yeah so we will come to this point we are comparing ax comma bx we consider that condition was true and we will jumping to the ibc level but what if that condition was not true what will be the case the case will be we have to compare the bx now with the cx so we will be jumping towards another uh, we, we will be comparing what bx comma cx why we are comparing bx with comma cx because this condition right this condition is false now because ax is not larger compared to bx so now bx is larger that means bx should be compared with the cx so we are comparing bx comma cx and uh, if that condition is true jump to abc let's say we are using abc2 this time and we will be jumping towards abc2 uh, so if bx is compared uh, larger to compare to if bx is larger compared to cx then we will be writing 
uh, another code abc2 and since abc was larger compared to ax and also larger compared to cx that means bx is the register name which is supposed to be moved inside dx so move dx comma bx and hold the program i hope this logic is clear let me repeat again so we were here at this condition and then we were checking j a a b c uh, if that condition was true but that condition is false because we are considering uh, ax is smaller compared to vx so that means this jump statement won't work rather it will flow uh, the normal sequential flow and the next line which is written here is cmp bx comma cx because uh, bx is considered as uh, larger number so we are now comparing bx comma cx and now if that condition is true that means bx is also larger compared to cx so now we have to move bx into dx so we are jumping towards another location which is abc2 and what is written abc2 uh, in abc2 we are writing just move the bx into the dx so that is one possible option of uh, the code I hope this uh, possible option is also or this possible flow of the code is also clear in your minds now. Okay, now we are going to test the third condition. Okay, these two points were okay. Now let's consider this condition. Okay, we will start from this point again. We compare ax comma bx. We see that that condition was false. We come to this point bx comma cx, and now we see that condition was true and we jumped to abc2 where we moved bx into dx but what if that condition was false this condition when we are comparing bx comma cx we know that bx was larger compared to ax so we come to this point but bx is compared with the cx now bx is not larger compared to cx that means we have to move what cx into dx so this condition is false so normal flow will proceed and we will be moving move dx comma cx so the, whatever the value of cx it will move inside this uh, what in inside this uh, dx register so halt but uh, this is one possible way in which you can actually uh, uh, put up value of cx into dx but what if okay what if if uh, we start from this point comparing ax comma bx that condition was true that means ax was larger and we jumped to this point and now we are comparing cmp compare ax with cx but this time this condition was false that means we have to jump uh, we have to move cx value inside what ax i hope you are not mixing it let me repeat it again this is very important and uh, very uh, closely uh, uh, closely related terms that's why you should not be confused we are comparing in line number six ax comma bx we consider it is true that means ax is larger compared to bx and we will be jumped to abc abc is jumping towards this point 14 line number 14 and here it we are comparing ax comma cx but what if this condition is not true that means we will not jump to this level rather the normal sequence will be flowed and that means we have to move uh, cx value inside dx but we have already written this line for us so we can use simple unconditional jump here g uh, let me write jmp and let's say we have used abc what level abc2 we have used already so we this time we can use abc3 abc3 you can use any any of the any level but keep in mind that should not be repeated and where we want to jump we want to jump to this so we will level this abc3 and this is the point where our actual program is completed and now we can test our program uh, because we have seen every condition to be true or every condition to be false so let's proceed to check if this program is working according to our need or not okay our program is complete let's test we know that uh, here ax has 0 2 bx has 0 6 and cx is 0 9 so we have to check which one of them is larger we will be pressing ml8 and you know that 0 9 is of course larger so cx should be value which should be moved inside dx let's see if it, it is going to be or not so i'm just gonna run it run 
and now you can see that cx is equal to 0 9 which is moved inside what tx right so this means this program is working let's test this program and let's put some greater value in vx let's say we moved 1 5 hex so we know that 1 5 hex is now larger now let's rerun this program emulate it right and now run the program and now you can uh, perfectly see that bx has 15 and dx is also 15 which means the largest value has moved we can also test this program using the largest value in the ax let's say 24 was there in ax and now we are going to emulate it that means okay it is run and now we're gonna press run button run look it is clearly see you can see that 24 hacks which was the content of ax and is larger the uh, larger compared to the content of px and cx and it has been moved inside the dx register so that's it uh, i hope you have understood this complete program if you haven't uh, we can discuss it in our online session thank you